Hey guys, so before this video starts, I'd like to announce a little series that I want to work on. Um, I decided to call it TCG Mythbusters. Basically what this is, is it's going to be about random cars that you might not know technically what to do with them. Um, just a nice little uh, kind of series on what cards can do what exactly. Um, we're going to start off by doing Graplock from Sword and Shield. That's going to be the first card that's going to be from this series. Um, so if you guys have any questions or like any kind of card you want to kind of work with but not sure exactly what the moveset is, how everything works um drop them down in the comments and i'm more than happy to make a video on it all right guys um take care bye welcome welcome one to another pokemon tcg deck build and today we're looking at toxtricity from sword and shield yes it's a promo card um i saw this a while ago and i was like you know what i'm probably not gonna get toxtricity v i'm not gonna get not really focused on toxtricity v max but then i was like maybe let's try it out Let's see what we can do with it, because obviously Toxtricity EV Max comes out in, I believe, Rebel Clash. We get another Toxtricity EV coming out in Rebel Clash as well. But this one's a special promo, um, so I thought maybe get ready, see which Toxtricity EV is the best one. Um, obviously, I've not read up on Toxtricity EV a lot. I just know uh, it's, it's pretty good, but obviously it's down to you guys of what you want to pick. But Toxtricity is here now, outside of Japan, and I thought might as well just give it a try. So 210 HP first off is it's okay for a for a V card. It's actually alright for a, for a Pokemon V actually. Um, lightning Pokemon, which means you get weakness on things like Lapras V Max. Um, and Lightning Pokemon, you have a bunch to go with your disposal. You have things like Thunder Mountain to reduce attack cost by one Lightning. You have Tapu Koko to attach one Lightning to you. You have Zero Aura for free retreat. You have Electro Power for extra damage. You have Volknoff for energy retrieval and an item. It's amazing. It is really, really good. I, it's perfect time to be in the type Pokemon right now. Two retreat cost is great. Air Balloon gets you free retreat, but then again, nine times out of ten, you're going to see him rocking with Zero Aura anyway. So that gives you more options to use things like Big Charm or maybe Ear Ringing Bell if you want to go with the with a Parasect Fusion. You'll see why in a second. Uh, weakness to Fighting is actually pretty decent. Not many good fighting decks are out right now. Um, yeah, you see a few, few you see a few fighting techs like for example Marshadow Mat Jump and other things like that, but in terms of fighting specific, there's not really many decks out. So it's alright. That's great. Um it has two attacks. First off, for one colorless energy, you have Energize. Attach a lightning energy card from your discard power to this Pokemon. It's good for next turn because that way you'll actually be ready for your next attack. Um, which is two lightning and one colorless. It's just Venom Slap, 120 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, so 130. Let's just say 130 at least. So yeah, that's pretty good. I like Toxtricity EV. It's it's got a cool concept, and I know it's VMAX card is if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, it does 240, I believe. Add the poison makes it 250, which is actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not too bad actually. I don't mind it. I don't mind cards that automatically do a status condition. It's great. So yeah, when you add the poison as well, you could do earring bell. So if you get hit back and have parasect on the bench, that's an extra twenty damage. That'll be one hundred and fifty. Yeah, you could, but we're not going to do that today. Obviously, toxicity is not alone. We're going to see who's paired up with first off. Ditto Prism Star. I'm working with a few evolution Pokemon right now, and Ditto Prism Star is here to help. So it evolves to any stage one, basically. You can't attack or anything like that. It's just a good tech, good evolution tech there if we need it. Um, but be careful for sniping decks. Things like Giratina Garchomp can one hit this, and you will lose a prize and Ditto Prism Star because Lost Zone. So be careful. If there's a sniping deck, I would advise not to use Ditto Prism Star, but it's up to you. We have Silver Valley GX from Cosmic Eclipse, uh, the one that lets you do disc reload, um, draw up to five cards in your hand. Great for a shuffle, great to get extra little bit of draw. It's brilliant, and it's also a backup attacker. It's also a defensive attacker against things like Obstagoon, since uh, Toxtricity is a basic Pokemon. Uh, Brave Buddies, 50 damage. If you play a support card from your hand during this turn, it does 120. That's fine. And also, if you want to, because we don't really have any other GX attacks that are worth doing, uh, you have Silver Knight GX. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it is knocked out. Doesn't matter if it's a tag team, a GX, or a basic. Doesn't matter how much damage it has. As long as it is an Ultra Beast, it is gone. Fantastic. Love it. We also have Tap Coco Prism Star because why would you not? It's an electric type. Why would you not? It's an electric type deck. Why would you not? Um, choose two of your bench Pokemon, attach any card from each from your discard pile, and Tap Coco goes in the Lost Zone. It's great. Energy acceleration. Can't complain. We have one copy of Zero Aura. Um, each of your Pokemon that has Lightning Energy, you can do Free Retreat. Again, why would you not? It's electric. Rock with Electric Energy. Why would you not? 
Plasma Fist for two lightning and one colorless energy, 60 da 160 damage and can't attack during the next turn, but when has that ever stopped us? And one lightning energy, full voltage GX, attach five basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon anime that you like. Good little boost of energy, but it is at the cost of a GX attack, so keep careful. Then again, if you've are, if you got no other choice, might as well. Again, if you're not rocking with Ultra Beast deck, you could do Zero Aura instead. It's up to you. These are the only GXs that we're rocking with this deck, so don't worry. And lastly, we have Toxicroak from Sword and Shield again. Um, again, perfect for a poison deck. If you're going for a poison kind of techie deck, Toxicroak is your boy. Put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon between checkup. So, yeah, that's great. So that 120, add two more, well, plus the plus the poison on top of it, would be 150, and then 30 every 30 on their turn. So 180 by the time your turn comes back if they don't retreat. Um, add another one, that's another 20 damage, so instead of 30 damage, it'll be 50 for poison. Then if you somehow manage to get all three that we're using in this deck, that's 70 every single turn until they retreat. That is crazy, on top of it, toxicity as well. Crazy, love it, it's crazy. We also have three copies of Custom Catcher, two Electro Chargers, four Electro Power, two Evolution Incense, one Ordinary Rod, three Quick Balls, Two switches, two copies of Dust Island. Whenever either player switches their poison Pokemon with one of their bench with the effect of a trainer card, i.e. Mallow and Lana or Switch, a um, new Axe Pokemon is now poison. It's great. That is oh, it's perfect. Love it. I love it. Love it. Uh, one copy of Thunder Mountain. Again, reduces electric type cost by one lightning. Will not work for Silvalli because Silvalli is not an electric type. Will not work for Toxicroak, but then again, we are not really using Toxicroak as an attacker. Um, so be careful. It's only for Toxicity and Zero Aura, so watch out. We have four copies of Cynthia, two Cynthia and Caitlyn, one Coco's Trap, two Marnies, one two copies of Volcano, my mistake, two copies of Big Charm, and 13 Lightning Energy. So with that being said, let's jump into it. I'm really excited. Okay, so Fairy and Colorless. Wow, don't really see Fairy types anymore. We did do Mimikyu GX the other day, actually. Um, it's really, you don't really see Fairy types anymore, but kudos, keeping the, keeping the Fairy train alive. Just for a little bit longer. But I, have also, I also have a feeling that it's Gardevoir and Sylveon. That is the only thing that's worrying me. Um, let's see, so the Toxicity up front first, that's fine. Volknar, I need some way of getting extra draw mechanic. Right, Pidgey first. I wonder who the fairy type is. I have a feeling it is Gardevoir and Sylveon, because that's the only one worth doing. Obviously, you could do Mimikyu. Ah! Okay, so it's... it's I'm gonna say it's kind of a trolley type deck, kind of a trolling meal type deck. This is gonna be, this is gonna be difficult. Um, right, I wanna see what the next card is though. I really wanna see what the next card is, I'm interested. So definitely Volkner then. Yep, definitely Volkner. Um, should I say Quick Ball? That's the only thing I can really do. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Could have done custom catch up, but then that would have been a waste. I'm going to say quick ball for... I want to say ditto, because I'm not seeing any sniping. Put discard the energy. I'm going to say ditto, because I'm not, I'm not seeing any sniping. Um, and then energize. Let's bring that back. Nice. Awesome. So hopefully next turn is some sort of draw mechanic, please. Um, if it's custom catcher, that's pretty good, because then we can evolve Ditto to Toxicroak, Electro Power, Electro Power, Electro Charger. It gives us one more space. Ah, there is Mimikyu. It is Mimikyu. I see. Uh, hmm. Very strange. Confusion, most likely. Yep. Okay. Big charm, that's not really what I wanted. Actually, no, keep, keep Ditto, just in case we get Sylvali, then we can kind of go crazy. Um, if we do Dream Fear, then that's not good. Come on, man, Cynthia, or even Cynthia and Caitlyn, I'll take that too. Let's get Volkner back. All right, I can last a couple of turns with this, that's fine. Oh my gosh, all three Toxic Hope, really? It's not really what I wanted. I can last a couple of hits. With Mimikyu. So let's see, three, so that'd be 40, then three, six, nine, twelve. No, fifteen plus the ten. Electro power, really? 
don't I don't want it. I don't I don't I don't want this. I think so 3 15 16 I can last one more hit then I need to think of something else. Oh, this is gonna be so much stress. Am I dead draw now? Oh, that's gonna sting. That stings. That stings a lot. Lightning energy. Um. Ooh, do I? Do I not? Actually, I can. Do I actually? Do I? Do I actually? Yes. Oh no! But then I lose all my cards. Ah! Do I do it or do I not? I hate. Oh, I hate risking it on a coin flip. I really don't like risking it on a coin flip. But I'm gonna have to. Electro power. Just go off. Just go off. Uh, then electro charger, please. I'm just gonna go off. Oh, come on, please, please, please let it be heads. Please let it be heads. Please let it be heads. Yes, amazing. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. I will take it. Custom catcher, and what else? Lightning energy. I'll take it. I will fully take it. Oh my gosh, that was such a lucky. Oh, that was such a lucky flip. Um, see, Dust Gathering, Whimsicott, it might be Whimsicott GX. That's not good. That is really not good. That's not good at all. Oh man, that's not good at all. Uh, but how are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty okay. I'm actually excited for Rebel Clash, to be honest. I'm, I'm really excited. There's a few new cards coming. I'm pre I'm looking forward to it. You've got um I'm looking forward to boss's orders, tall scrapper. I can't wait for tall scrapper to come through. You can get rid of any tall card that you want. Yes, Cynthia. Yes, you wonderful woman. Right, uh, Cocker's Trap, Thunder Mountain does not do a single thing for me. Okay, um, maybe maybe retreat and get ready. Yeah, maybe maybe just retreat and get ready. Could do Thunder Mountain and Koga's Trap, but then that's free retreat anyway, because of U turn board if he evolves. No, maybe just Flex. Okay. I'm okay with that. Next card isn't the NG. Oh, Krogonk. Volkner, please. For a. I'm gonna say a Quick Ball and a Lightning Energy. Actually, no, Switch? Switch would be better. But then I wouldn't get any Pokemon anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. Quick Born Lightning Energy. I'm gonna say get rid of Koga's Trap. Yeah, get rid of Koga's Trap. Um, bring in not not type Coco, not yet. Type no. Where's Silvalli? We've got two Silvallis here still. So yeah, maybe get the draw ready. Get the draw just a tiny bit ready. Um, then attach. Then it's gonna be risky, but attach, then retreat, and then Thunder Mountain, and that's it again. Venom slap, slap. Right. Um, what's the next one? Come on, something good, something good. Lightning energy. Yeah, I can give it to. I can give it to a type null, I guess. Okay, I need to get rid of this bird now because this bird's gonna be trouble. This bird is gonna be so much trouble. As long as we don't, as long as he doesn't get Whimsical GX, we should be okay. Flawless, I'm not too fussed about. What's with all these tall cards? I'm kind of interested to see what deck he wanted to do. I'm kind of interested. Um, let's see, slap that on. Big charm, definitely. Cynthia and Caitlyn, bring back a Cynthia, please. Yes, bring back my Cynthia, please. And draw, draw, draw. Oh, brilliant. Another Toxicroak. Fantastic. Right, Venom Slap. Got Marnie, but Marnie's okay for now because he's he's short on draw. That's fine. Electro Charger. If I do Cynthia, another Toxicity would be great to have right now. Uh, tool, I'm just thinking about Tool Scrapper from the new from the new Rebel Clash that's coming. That's gonna cause so many problems. Oh no! That's fine. I got money anyway. 
That's fine. I was going to panic and I was like, I had no draw. But then I realized Marnie. Sorry, Marnie. I, I said we didn't need you, but it turns out we do. I have a feeling this is going to be some kind of trolley deck, though. Because floor just, there's a new floor just... Well, I say new. There's another floor just... Because I think of the... I keep thinking of the... Um, the... Um, the one that brings a trainer card or item card on the top of your deck. But I know this one... I know there's another one that brings off another... Um, does something else there's another one somewhere that does something else i think it's from cosmic eclipse all right so valley slap up front um electro charger nope that was wasted all right money what you got for me uh, okay we can we can work with this i'm not gonna waste electro power just in case something comes up because i'm really worried for that that card venom slap there's another custom catcher in here i know there is if we get a custom catcher in the prizes that would be fantastic money let's uh, full up money i like the full up money actually i'm i'm because at first i was like why does everyone want money for and i realized yeah full up money looks really cool i like full up money i really like it it's nice it is very very nice i think we might have it i think we might have this Kid Whimsicott. Oh no! I've done it. Unless he gets Whimsicott now. This could happen. This could work. This could work. I'm not sure. I think they're stuck. There we go. Oh no, wait. Oh, 30 damage. Oh wow, they actually get the knockout. Nice. I'm not even mad. Getting a knockout with a Pidgeotto. That's it's not bad at least. But, oh well, at least we do it. All we got to do is pop off a Marnie and then we've done it. And that's it. It's done. GG. Yes, please. Use the Marnie. Use the Marnie. Draw, 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 draw. Toxtricity V again. We only needed the one that whole game. And there we go. Sweet. Right. Next game. Okay, so, oh wow, fighting. Oh gosh. At times when I say, don't worry about fighting decks and you see a fighting deck. Fantastic. I have a feeling the only decent fighting deck that's around right now is probably Excadrill. So it might be Excadrill. Just a ton of Excadrill and um, and maybe Ditto. Right, draw, 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 draw. Toxtricity to begin with. That is great. Uh, Krogonk as well. That is great. I'm hoping that the next energy... Oh, Mulligan as well. Even better. I'm hoping the next card that we get is a... Um, right. Oh, I know who this is. This is Armaldo. This is Armaldo. I know who this is. Because it's Welder. So Armaldo hits harder for each um, for each unidentified fossil in the discard. Okay. Wow, five? Okay. I'm completely fine with that. If we somehow pull it off and get Thunder Mountain, then we've done it there and then. <laughs> I have a feeling we don't have Thunder Mountain. I can use Volkner to check, but... Definitely vault them for a quick pull and get. Uh, I want to say, well, if it's on, if it's what I'm thinking it is, there's no mechan, there's no sniping mechanic, so I could just get Ditto again. Right, so snap on lightning energy, do Volknar for quick pull and save another lightning energy then. Right, and then. Use the quick ball, get rid of the lightning energy. Use ditto. What do we have? Have we got Thunder Mountain? We do have Thunder Mountain. Very nice, very nice indeed. And we'll leave it like that. Get ditto. Gonna evolve twice. Um, and then energize to bring the energy back. And next turn, slap on another energy and we're done. So that's two energy a turn. So. Oh my god, well, I mean, if you could, you technically, it's still the same thing as like Picarom, Tapu Koko, Thunder Mountain, then you're you're ready to go, basically. And then, But if you really want to go overboard, you do Tapu Koko, and you attach energy, and then you do Energize, and then you're ready to go next turn. 
but that's a very specific kind of thing to go through. So many ordinals, why? So many ordinals, why do you have so many? I mean, you normally see two. Oh, there's Pokemon research, which means I need an energy card. To, I need a stadium to get rid of it. But then again, all you need it is for one turn, pretty much, and then you're you're set. You're yeah, literally you're set. Arch, Archin for Archeops. I guess U turn. Um, let's see, Toxicroak. Slap on energy just in case. I want to say wait for Ditto to get Sil Valley. Why are we getting all three Toxicroaks in the same go? Right, there's their aura. There's another toxicity. Right, and go nuts. Good thing we did do. Good thing we attached the extra energy. Right, what have we got? Tapu Koko. Okay, that's fine. No, none in the discard. So that's alright. So, so it does a hundred and eighty. Okay, so that does a hundred and eighty. Archeops does. Got an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's good for me. Right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, no, nah, sorry. I'll cut the footage anyway, but yeah, sorry. AJ was doing something really cute. Right, so we attach something new. Okay, Evolution Incense to get Sil Valley. But yes, for those who don't know, AJ's my little girl. She was doing something really cute earlier. It's fine. Uh, Sil Valley to bring up. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. I actually, when. Um, when the Pokemon, uh, what's it called? When the Pokemon Center was up and running in um, in London a couple months ago, I actually managed to grab two out of the three starter Pokemon. I'm, I'm a bit upset that I didn't get all three of them. I got Skull Bunny and I got, um, I should put on Toxicity. Same HP, same weakness. I might as well just do the one that hits harder. Um, but yeah, I got Toxicity. I mean, Toxicity. I got um, Skull Bunny and I got Grookey. Because I got Skull Bunny for AJ and I got Grookey for me. Um, I didn't manage to get Sobble. I should have got Sobble because I realised afterwards that Jay wanted Sobble. Because before she didn't like the new starters and now when she saw Sobble, she, she never saw them. She never saw the new starters and then when she saw Sobble she was like, I love this creature. I need this creature. And um, so yeah, so we didn't end up getting Sobble. And um, so yeah, so I gave AJ Skull Bunny and she loved it. She loved it. And then she ended up seeing Grookey and she was like, I love that one better. So she ends up she ends up having both of them. I wonder if she would have liked Sobble as well. I'm probably gonna still hunt for for a Sobble card as I mean for a Sobble plushie. So it's just she's just so cute with it. Um, but yeah, it's just so it's so funny. Oh man, but yeah. So when I cut it out, so he must have done that attack that discarded an extra energy from me and 160. That's fine. He's got great catch. He's I just saw great catch all. What else did he get? Great catcher and fiery flint. Okay, um, I don't need another type null. Um, get the other toxicity ready. Yeah, I don't need I don't need another one. Um, <sighs> okay. Nah, no, be a waste of a switch. Because I was going to say switch to Toxtricity and then retreat with zero, using Zero Aura. Using Zero Aura's ability, but that was, that's just a waste. It's a complete waste of a... It's a complete waste of a, um, of a switch when we could use it for someone else. Um, but yes, if you're thinking like, why did you add in switch? Because you have Zero Aura for the free retreat. True, but there are some cards, like for example Toxicroak, where I don't really want to attach an energy to them just for the retreat. Like, it's one retreat cost anyway, and I'd rather prefer losing the energy but at the same time I would most ideally like to put the energy onto someone else that's actually going to use it like Silvalli or Toxicity so it makes it a bit more difficult in that aspect so I would I would take out a switch and put in like one more energy but then again it's like do I really want to do that it's just kind of I don't know it is a bit more extra if I do it that way uh, right, so Aerodactyl, or you could do it on Archops again, and I'd be in a tight situation. But then again, I think all of them, I all of them, I one shot, and only and none of them can one shot me. Even with weakness, none of them can one shot me. If they had, see, this is the problem. If you had um, one or two fighting energy, you could do Martial Arts Dojo, 
And that would have knocked me out. That would have definitely knocked me out. Especially now that you're behind on prizes. So all I've got to do is just hit him back. He hits me one time. I hit him back. He probably brings out Aerodactyl. Hits me. I hit him. See, this is the only problem now. I need the third Toxtricity. Actually, no. Yeah, I need the third Toxtricity. Red. I need the third one ready to go. fight fossil uh please see that's this is what i mean though if i knock this this is another thing i want to find out if i knock out unidentified fossil do i get the do i get a prize card because i have a feeling i do toxic ev fantastic fantastic um re i'm gonna say shuffle and actually no 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 we have the third one now we're fine keep ordinary rod for for later on evolution incense Krogonk. Do I get a prize? I think I do. I have a feeling that I do. Yes, I do. Six HP Pokemon. It's not Lily's Pokedol. That's the. That's what he's. I think he's thinking. Oh, it works like Lily's Pokedol. It does not work like Lily's Pokedol. Counts as a 60 HP Pokemon. Unless it says your opponent does not get a prize, you don't get a prize. You. I can not. I can still knock him out. So that's that's good for me anyway. Um. So he does 160. Takes off an energy from me. Um. Even if he does Zero Aura, even if I bring out Zero Aura to, to use the GX attack, he still won't one-shot me, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, see, I could even pull off a switch like right now and do the GX attack. How much? I have four. One, two, three, four, and then Zero Aura to retreat. And then just attack again. Yeah, actually, I can do it that way. Alright, first off, Evolution Incense for Toxicroak. Right, Toxicroak add on. Right, I'm gonna say switch. Then energy. So, Valley might as well give me a disc reload, please. So, Dean Caitlin, fantastic. Don't need Electro Power because I can one hit all of them anyway. Marnie would be better to dead him out um that is probably better than all the other options well um yeah we'll keep custom catcher just in case all right four i could have done quick ball but yeah why not all right one two um not one or so valley because that'll be 120 that won't be enough three and let's say Mm, no, because I need... Actually, mm, that would help. Yeah, I mean, that would help. Because if I do Zero Aura... Because then if I do... If I attack once with Zero Aura, that gets me a one-hit KO anyway. There we go. Sweet. All done. Um, Let's do one more quick one. Right. Okay. I completely spaced out when I saw the typing as well. That's fantastic. Right. Dust Island is good i did not even see typing type of coco so i'm assuming a lightning to okay okay very interesting it's very interesting snorlax v very interesting right type call who have you got adp i'm assuming no rush from charizard okay so huh welder maybe has he got welder pokey gear then welder or Green's Exploration? Yeah, there's well though. Then attach to Snorlax and then slap it again. And that's already 60 damage off. Like, I know I'm predicting kind of crazy moments, but I'm just kind of bracing for the worst. And the worst has not come. Okay. Dust Island to get rid of that uh, giant half would be perfect. If I somehow mess up and get Thunder Mountain, I'll just have to work with that later. Marnie to dead draw him. Hopefully he doesn't dead draw me. Thunder Mountain. That's fine. That's alright. We get at least we get it next turn. Right, big charm. Lightning energy. Custom catcher. For Cynthia, and that is great. I don't have any lightning energy in my discard, so that's that. Toxicroak for next turn though would be great. Is there any point doing Thunder Mountain now? 
only if he puts on another energy, I would assume. Well, only if he puts on another stadium, I mean, not an energy. If he puts on another energy, then he... Okay, there's VMAX. This is the first time facing Snorlax VMAX for me. This, yeah, this is my first Snorlax VMAX deck that I've played against. So, altogether, that does 90 damage so far. 120, 150, 180, 210. Is that the 210 altogether? This one, so far, there's Giant Puff, great. Five, no, was it? Three, six, nine, plus 60, 150. Okay. So that does 100 and. Did I say 150? I did say 150. 180. All right, so I can tank it. Okay, Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain, use Cynthia. Evolve the Toxicroak already. Just get, just get the poison ready. All right, I'm gonna say Rush Room and Charles. Are you good? no? Okay, please don't be another one. I can't handle 180. Either way, it's a two hit KO. Regardless, regardless, it is a two hit KO, which is fantastic. Gosh, I mean, that's his third welder already. This is third welder. Okay, so 180. Great. Um, right, so Thunder Mountain first. Evolve to Tox Croak. Keep the lightning energy because we have the right amount of energy now. Um, that's not really what I was after. Should have really kept the ditto out, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, so 150. He'll knock me back. I wish I had the V Max. I wish I had Toxtricity V ready, because then that would have been ah. Uh, even another Krogon would have been so much better. <sighs> okay. All right. I've really got to think now. Same thing, Caitlyn, for Lightning Energy. 60 damage, yeah, he's got me. 60 damage on the dot. On the actual dot. Okay. I can't believe he got me on the dot. Oh, come on, man. Every single game you've given me, you've given me all three Toxicroaks. I don't want them. I do not want these cards. All right, Marnie, come back to me, please. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them. Right, Toxicroak. He, uh, he's gonna knock out Toxic Croak. Definitely gonna have to, I'm gonna have to Marnie next turn. I've got no choice. I need that lightning energy. And I need. Oh man, Krogonks, where are you, man? Why do I always get the Toxic Croak and not the Krogonks? Just keep, it just keeps stockpiling, man. Every game, every game that we've had in this video, there's always been all three Toxic Croaks just ready to go. That is crazy. This is a bit troublesome. He doesn't. No, Zero Aura. Why? Uh, if, the, if this Marnie works out well and I get Tapu Coco, please let me get Tapu Coco. So, what's that? 180. If he gets one more, then Zero Aura is knocked out. Yep. Zero Aura is gone. 210. That means if I don't get Big Charm in this next go, I'm pretty much knocked out as well. What's that? 300. That'll be 300 damage. If I get an Electro Power, I've done it. If I manage to spend an Electro Power, I'm, I've made it. Electro Power. Cool gunk. Right, electro Power. Um. 50 plus the 30. Oh boy. Actually, no, it's type no. I think I've lost this anyway. No matter how you see this, I think I've lost this one. Snorlax be max, dude. Snorlax be max. 150 plus the 30 makes 180. I'll be 10. I'm 10 damage off. I'm 10 damage off. 
I'm literally 10 off. I did. If I had another Toxic Croak, I could have made it. Uh, it's fine. Right, GG. I'm gonna say announcement time because we've lost this. All you've got to do is hit me. GG. Announcement time. Let's go. Right, Toxicity V. It's okay. It's not too bad. Um, there were a few. I had a bit. Uh, there was a bit of issues. There were a, a bit of issues. First off, I can't believe all three Toxic Croak kept coming. That was annoying. Um, if that's the case, then I might take off a quick ball and do Pokemon communications because that Toxicroak was the Toxicroak was really bugging me. All three games and all three of them popped out at one in one go. That was a bit stressful. Um, toxicity in itself, I think, is okay. 120 for two energy. If you add Thunder Mountain for three energy as well, um, it's all right. Toxicroak really puts in a huge dent in the work because one Toxicroak would make it 150. That's peak ROM level for the same cost of energy, which is fine. Only difference is that the poison banks up. So say if they don't retreat again, one Toxicroak makes it 180. So that's already higher than peak ROM. Uh, Big Charm makes it 240. So that makes it peak ROM's health as well. Um, and in another Toxicroak, you're now doing more damage than peak ROM, which is great. Um, and again, that carries over in between turns if they don't retreat out properly. Um, what else? Ditto, fine. Ditto works amazingly well. Evolution Incense, I wish I had enough of it so I could get Sylvali up more though. Um, speaking of Sylvali, I'm also not sure. The only reason I put Sylvali in is because I didn't want to run into an Obstagoon deck and be stuck because a lot of these guys are basics and I can't really move around them very well. Um, so Sylvali is literally there to, to attack it because if you're looking at it bo from both of them, for a good amount of health. Uh, Obstagoon will do three will do three attacks, take out Sylvali, while Sylvali will do two. So depending on which way you take it, you could get the knockout. Well, you could probably get the knockout regardless of who starts first, which is fine. Um, Tapu Koko, again, brilliant, needed. Zero Aura, needed, again. Uh, only thing I'm thinking about is the Toxicroak, because we managed to put up two in, that, in one of the first games but it was kind of overkill two would be great actually because that's 180 then the, at least one electrify will make it 210 so yeah that would yeah that would make it work and then obviously after the next turn be number five so 260 it stacks it does stack after a while there used to be poison barb it used to be a tool card and that card would have been fantastic for this deck even if they get hit Toxicroak would just stack up the damage afterwards, which would be fantastic. Poison Bob would be so good. Nowadays, you've got, I would say, probably Cacnea and Cacturn. Because the, once you hit them, you become automatically poisoned, and Toxicroak ends up stacking up the damage. I might do a deck on that in the future to see how that goes. Um, add in a few Koga's traps and whatever, see what happens. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure as to as to what else to, to switch over. Switch as well, like I said, I might take out Switch um, because obviously Zero Aura. But then again, like I said, I don't want to waste an energy on someone that I could easily put onto somebody else. And because of Zero Aura, I can't discard the energy because it's free retreat. Um, so that's a bit annoying. So say if Toxicroak is on the front, I don't want to waste an energy giving Toxicroak free retreat um, when I could just pop a Switch and use the energy for somebody else. So it's kind of confusing. Koga's Trap we didn't get to see, so I might even get rid of Koga's Trap because Koga's Trap's just kind of there in case, you know, Poke uh, our opponent's Pokemon has like a little bit of health left and we've got a bunch of Toxicroak but no Toxicity ready or anything like that and we can just slap on Koga's Trap, confuse and poison them and then just get little cheeky chips away before Toxicity is ready. But I might get rid of Koga's Trap, actually. Don't even need it. Uh, Quick Ball, definitely. Contemplating putting in Dene. Only problem is what... I need an evolution Pokemon to get rid of Obstagoon decks, so I'm not too sure what I could add in from that. So Valley is just the best bet for me on that one. Um, but yeah, in, in other times that, I think that's about it. So if you guys have any idea on what I should add in, if you guys have any idea on what I should take away, let me know. Also, if you guys have any idea on what decks I should try out again, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to try it out. Uh, but as always, always click like and always click on the video. You guys are always welcome back to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, take care. And I will see you all later. Okay, bye.